What up, gang? It's Dingo. It's Doomver. And I happen to be on the trail back to the car. And I found a large patch of mushrooms here growing up this tree. And we have several stages of growth. So I'm going to collect these. We got some younger ones here by my foot. And then fully mature all the way up. So, yeah, I'm going to get you a few shots here of these mushrooms. It appears they are growing. This is a beech tree with the silver bark. And they are growing on what... Uh, I can't tell what that is. I'm not sure what kind of tree that is. But, um, let's see. Yeah, I'm trying not to mash them all. Dingo. Might mash a few, but that's okay. Oh, and there, there's some back here that are even more mature. If you can see the, uh, they have faded a bit. And the uh, ends of the caps have curled up on uh, the, uh, the last ones there. The one that's kind of chewed up there. And then there's one down. You can see the caps starting to turn up. And here are the, the younger ones that don't have the caps flipped out at all. There's partial ring. I think these may be honey flies. I don't know. We're going to take several examples home and we will try to identify these. Peace out. What is up, gang? I am back home with the uh, yellow fungus I found that we're going to attempt to identify here. We have them in various states of maturity. You can see the gills on these ones, and that one is partially attached to the little ring still. I guess they both kind of are. And uh, this larger one here, you can see uh, how that ring looks when it's detached. And then here are some that aren't detached at all. Like everything's still hiding up under there on these uh, younger ones. You can see that one is starting to see if I can pull that away. And you can see the gills up in there. So that's kind of neat to see. So uh, let's start checking out in the uh, National Audubon Society Field Guide to North American Mushrooms book that we always use. We're going to use our thumb tabs out here on the end to find our, uh, well, yeah, we're already into them there, the gilled mushrooms. And uh, well, there's some with rings right there. I don't believe that's not the right color, but um, yeah, these are more similar. The honey mushroom. Uh, let me see here. Give you guys another look here at the ones that we have. And, uh, yeah, so that says page 736. And we will look here. Oh, 738, 736, honey mushroom. Here we go. This is the one I think it is. So this is the one we will start with. <clears throat> honey mushroom. Armillaria. <laughs> Armillaria. Melee. Tricolomar, Triclo, Tricolomarae, Marase, Agariclase. All right, 
sorry about that. <laughs> Yellow to brown, sticky cap with erect black hairs over the center, discoloring whitish gills, and stalk with white to cream ring on on wood. So yeah, it was definitely on wood. I believe it was an ash tree, I'm not sure. Wide oval becoming convex to nearly flat, sticky to dry, yellow to rust brown, often with blackish, erect hair-like scales, gills attached or slightly dis descending, stalk, uh, nearly distant, narrow, whitish, staining yellow to reddish, stalk two to six inches. Whitish, discoloring, yellowish to rust brown, stuffed to hollow, veil, partial veil, leaving membranous, membranous, usually persistent ring on upper stalk. We have that. The elliptical, smooth, colorless, non-nimbleoid spore, spore print white. Edibility choice with caution. August or September to November. Yep, we're all good there. It's September right now. Uh, clustered at bases or near stumps of trees, also in open areas. I saw them at all those places, and you'll see in the video when I find them. Uh, where I found them at the base of a tree. And it says on in the uh, comments there, also known as Amaryllis mela, while this is an excellent edible, it must be well cooked. Even so, some people may experience stomach upset. This is a complex of nearly identical species many of which have toxic lookalikes. The most dangerous of these are listed above. The honey produces string-like runners or uh, rhizomorphs, which can extend as far as 100 meters and from which additional fruiting bodies grow. One specimen was estimated to be more than 450 years old. Wow. Very interesting. So, um, the lookalikes, I think I might have skipped over that, are, uh, let's see, A. Tabescens has a dry cap and no ring, so we know that's not it. This has a sticky cap and a ring. And uh, the poisonous Omphalotus olisarius is orange, lacks a ring. The hallucinogenic Gymnopilus spectalis is orange, very bitter, has brown spores. The deadly Galernia autumnalis is smaller, smooth cap, evanescent ring, and brown spores. The poisonous Namataloma fasciculaire is smaller, has smooth cap, greenish-yellow gills when young, and purple to brown spores. So, there you have it. I'll be doing a spore print on these. And, uh... Just to uh, make sure of what we have. And uh, I'll be getting back to you. But I'm pretty certain these are honey fungus. And, uh, well, until next time, get out and look at the trees. What is up, gang? It's Doomver with Look at the Trees. I am back here with the final part of our honey fungus video, or honey mushroom, whatever you would like to call it. 
Um, we're here with the spore print. Spore print is supposed to be white. I have two setups here. One is on a dark background to show me the white. One is on a white background to show me in case it's the wrong one and it shows me something dark. So, without further ado, oh, we have a white spore print. Well, I guess part of the mushroom stuck in our, our cup here. I'll have to empty that out. But we have our white spore print. Hopefully you can see that. It's a nice detail of the gills and stuff. And this is our backup to see if we had something else. And I don't see anything, but under a microscope, there are spores there. So there you have it, gang. There's our white spore print that matches our spore print here. So we have identified a honey mushroom. Until next time, look at the trees.